Deus. Trinity, co-equal, only deity, ere yet the whole world began to be, and now went throughout all eternity. Praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people, for his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, how many are thy foes? Many are rising up against me. Many are saying of me, There is no help for him in God. But thou, o Lord, art a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory to the O Trinity, co equal, holy deity, ever yet the world began to be, and now and throughout all eternity. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In thy resurrection, O Christ, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, O Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, who fulfilled by your resurrection that all was promised by the prophets, observing in remembrance the glory of the resurrection. We are gathered together to do homage in deepest thanksgiving. Look on us in our humility and grant that being wiped clean, from the stain of sin, during the holiness of the great night, we will rise to new life as worthy partakers of your death and resurrection, who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit throughout all ages of ages.
Come rejoice our Lord in his risen.
forgive us all our transgressions. For now thou hast risen from the dead, life eternal has begun, and death's battle thou hast won. Through thy holy strength, O Lord.
The Lord is risen from the grave. Alleluia. Who for us has hung on the wood of the cross. Alleluia. The Lord has risen from the cross. Alleluia. Who for us has hung on the wood of the cross. Alleluia. The Lord has risen from the cross. Alleluia. To thee we come, O Lord, our God. Spirit, we will go unto the altar of God, to God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we might be found worthy to participate in His holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God and asking for his forgiveness, I will offer the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, who knows the innermost secrets of my heart that I have sinned and thought word and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. In your presence, O God, I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry that I have offended you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life, to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and absolution and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I have risen. I am with you once more. You place your hand on me to keep me safe. 
How great is the depth of your wisdom. Alleluia. O oh Lord, you have clothed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory to whom God in the highest. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. Almighty God, our Father, you raised Christ, your Son, who conquered death and opened for us the way to eternal life. Let our celebration today raise us up anew our lives by the risen Christ who is among us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On this, this, the solemnity of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we take the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge and prophet and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him who receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual for today. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The second reading is taken from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what, of what is above, not is on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, 
then you too will appear with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast not with the old yeast, but with unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. This is the gospel of the Lord. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Come and see the victories of the cross. Christ's wounds are thy healings. His agonies, the repose. His conflict, the, thy conquest. His groans, thy songs. His pains, thy ease. His shame, thy glory. His death, thy life. His sufferings, thy salvation. These words are taken from the great preacher, Matthew Henry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the risen Christ, first of all, Happy Easter, or in the Polish tradition we say, Wesołego, Alleluia. I hope and pray that this Easter will be a joyous event for you and your loved ones. I remember a year ago where Easter was not very joyous, and even this year, many will continue to find little joy at this time due to the loss of a loved one. I ask 
that in your prayers today, you remember all those who have suffered a loss. Although this Easter will be difficult for many, Easter still brings a message to our world and to each other of new hope and new life. Easter is the culmination of a dichotomy of two opposites. First, we read that Christ Jesus was to suffer and to die on the cross. And then three days later, we read he was resurrected from the dead. As all of you who came into church today were given a cross with the marking John 3.16. It is a most powerful verse that all of us should put to our hearts, for it is the Catholic, the Orthodox, the universal statement that brings all Christians together. That verse, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Eternal life. While we rejoice in the resurrection of our Lord, of gathering with our families and loved ones, we should all be reminded of what led up to the joy and the celebration of Easter that we celebrate today. It was none other than the cross. I think of a, a line from the song, Tomorrow Will Be a Brighter Day, written back in the 70s by the musician and songwriter Jim Croce. He sings, no one has ever seen a rainbow until they have seen the rain. It is a little reminiscent of the story of Noah, where after it rained for 40 days, upon leaving the ark, Noah sees a rainbow. Easter to Good Friday for me is like the rainbow that came after the rain. The joy that came after the sadness, the victory after the struggle, and the life that came after death. Christ was to conquer all obstacles that would prevent us from knowing God and being one with Him. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55, it is St. Paul who talks about Christ's victory when he writes, O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? As you hold this simple piece of wood, I would like all of you to be mindful that it was on a cross that God offered to you his divine love, the forgiveness of all your sins, and out of love, the gift of eternal life. In Romans chapter 6, verse 23, Paul writes that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. As you hold the simple piece of wood, I would like all of you to be ever mindful that it was on the cross that you were paid for a price. The Lord paid a price for your redemption and salvation by dying a shameful death on the wood of a cross. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, I pray that this Easter may truly be a time of joy and celebration for you and your loved ones. May you ever be grateful for the many gifts that God has given to you, most importantly, life. Although we will encounter many trials and tribulations in our lives, remember that in Christ, 
tomorrow will be a better day. May we ever be mindful that he is ever present with us, not only this Easter day, but all time. And he proclaim, proclaims to us, especially this day, because I live, you will also live. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised, now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And I love you. Let us pray. The earth filled, feared and was silent when God rose in judgment. Alleluia.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the benefit of the whole church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and loving Father, accept these sacrificial gifts we offer you with joy, in which your church is reborn and nourished through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. He is right to give you thanks and praise. Father, a powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, especially on this day, when he became our Paschal sacrifice, he is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us, and by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to all of us. Therefore, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotted, spotless sacrifices which we make to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. On this Easter day, let us remember in our prayers the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed, all victims of the coronavirus, and pray for them and their families as well. Let us pray for all doctors and nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers who strive daily to save others. Let us remember in our prayers this day all abused and neglected children in our world, as well as all abused and neglected animals, and all victims of violence both here and abroad. Let us offer our prayers for all those who serve in our armed forces, that God would protect them and return them to their families, safe and sound. Let us also remember all present here and their families whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own for their hope of salvation and deliverance and who freely choose to serve you the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and of honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless to accept and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the 
most sacred body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his passion and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice of the Magnet Host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Please be seated.
Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you did say to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world, by your holy body and blood, Free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in all of us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall we return unto the Lord for all the graces the earth rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him and I shall be safe from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, what we have received unto our lips may be received mentally, and may this temporal gift become to us an everlasting healing. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood, which I have drawn, cling to my innermost being and grant that no sin remain in me, in whom these holy sacraments have nourished, who liveth, lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now offer the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior.
We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, watch over your church and bring us to the glory of the resurrection promised by this Easter sacrament. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lo, the sacrifice has been offered. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, 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 alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy, may be effective for myself and all those for whom we have offered it, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning, through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light, the real light which gives light to every man who is coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory of an only Son, coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I would like to take a moment to thank all who have participated with the filming of this Mass. First of all, to our organist, Miss Barbara Stahelski, to my senior acolyte, Mr. Wayne Shaw, to those bearing the three symbols of Easter, Mr. Eric DeBrinzi, our parish chairperson, Mr. Joshua Tudrin and Mr. Carl Adamski. I finally wish to thank Mr. Jonathan Boshin, who has actually um, been with us for a period of time, taping our masses so that it could be broadcast on Sunday mornings. On behalf of myself personally as pastor, and speaking on behalf of the entire parish committee of Holy Name of Jesus, we extend our best wishes that you and your loved ones may have a joyous Easter with your loved ones and with your families, and may God keep all of us safe, and may we go forth and proclaim that Easter truly is the day in which the Lord rose from the dead. We will conclude this morning's taping with the offering of a prayer for the living as well as for the repose of the souls of our faith will be parted. May God bless all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed ones, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in the presence of the resurrected Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.